Huge thank you to NVIDIA for sending me a DGX Spark. This is one of these bad boys that you see right here. I'm going to be reviewing this, looking at it over the, really the next couple of videos as I make use of this very advanced machine. The NVIDIA DGX Spark and its partner systems officially launch on October 15th, 2025. So what are my first impressions? Well, I've had the system for two days at this point, so I'll give a longer review in a few weeks, but for now, I'm already very impressed. Setup was seamless. The DGX OS feels refined, and the unified Grace Blackwell architecture delivers remarkable performance for its compact form. This is a developer's machine. Everything worked right out of the box. CUDA, Python, and the full NVIDIA software stack were pre-configured and ready to go. Within minutes, I was running local, LLMs, generating images, and monitoring utilization through the DGX dashboard, all without having to troubleshoot anything. It, it really just worked. NVIDIA also provided extensive documentation for installing and optimizing a wide range of AI technologies, making it easy to expand into other areas that they didn't preload. Fortunately, they didn't load a bunch of stuff that you're not going to necessarily use. They loaded a very good core. In my short time with it, I've successfully run 70 billion parameters LLMs locally and generated 1024 square stable diffusion images both made possible by the 128 gigabyte of unified memory. This would be beyond the capabilities of most high-end consumer hardware, at least at this point. Everything from model inference to image generation feels fast, efficient, and stable, with the system running impressively under load. I'll show you the examples of, of it running at a near capacity. I'll post... Like I said, I'll post a much more complete review after I've had a few weeks to fully explore what this machine is capable of. Check out the link in the description. It shows you how to get right to the page where you can look at the NVIDIA offerings as well as all of their partners. Okay, let's open this. This box should be pretty close to what you see for the actual retail version that you would get when you order this yourself. You can see it there on top of the other stuff that is included. There's the front. Let's go ahead, pop this out. We'll take a closer look at these in a moment. All right, what else is in this box? All right, handy instruction manual. Other primary thing that is in here is the power supply. And here it is. The style design harkens back to the first DGX that you see here that was really a huge, huge step forward when that machine came out. The ports you see on the back, it's got four USBs, although one of those is used to power the device. You have a connector here that you could put a second one of these together. You could stack them and have two of these. The two sparks are connected together with a special Connect X7 and IC cable. The specs on this machine are really amazing. You can see them here. The GPU is the, the Blackwell architecture, overall architecture, Grace Blackwell. It's got a 20-core ARM CPU. System memory is 128 gigabytes, and that's unified memory, so that's shared between the GPU and CPU as needed. The storage is 4 terabytes in the Founder Edition. It has a uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet. It does have Bluetooth enabled, which is very useful for connecting the mouse and keyboard. And this is making use of the NVIDIA DGX operating system. This is a Ubuntu variant that NVIDIA uses for their supercomputing and uh, computer type devices that we have here. And you're going to see that right now. So let's go ahead and start this up. When it first starts up, it wants you to connect your keyboard and mouse. And you see it here detecting mine. 
When both are present, it is ready to go. So let's get started. I'll pick Chicago for me. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, but I never see St. Louis. Select my language and then agree to the terms of use. It's going to have you create a user. Now, this is just a local Ubuntu account. You're not using your NVIDIA login or anything like that. I am going to help NVIDIA improve my experience. And then I am going to connect to Wi-Fi. I actually, just after I connected the Wi-Fi, also connected it to my wired Ethernet, which I have in this room. It then immediately updates it to the latest version. While it's doing this, I'll make another point too. There, You can connect this completely headless and go through the installation without even a keyboard or monitor. It basically turns into an access point. You connect to that access point and go through these steps because you might want to have it as a completely just compute station and use it remotely. I'm installing it with the full desktop experience. You can also then still use NVSync, which we'll see in a future video, to work with it remotely. You can also just SSH into it. And now we're ready for just the initial login. And after you log in, you'll see that it lands here at this website that NVIDIA has set up with all kinds of useful links to get you going for these workbooks that they give you to install additional software. Just out of the box, it comes with tools that help you measure the performance of it, that allow the NB Sync to connect to it, and also lets you run a Jupyter, Jupyter Lab, that will allow you to make use of Python code directly accessing this machine's capabilities. We'll also look at other workbooks and other videos, but you're able to do things like run very large, large language models on this, larger than what you could typically fit in a 32 gigabyte laptop, even a high-end laptop. And we'll see image generation, of course, because that's always fun on these kinds of machines. And look at the remote connection with NV Sync. And then we'll look at a lot of other things in other videos. All right, I'm definitely going to have a lot more videos on this, and you'll probably see it pop up in my regular videos because this is, this is definitely one of the most advanced machines that I have direct physical access to for videos. So check out the link that is in the description for information on how you can get your own either from NVIDIA or one of the other partners that is producing similar devices. This is the Founders edition of this. So just like GPUs, NVIDIA makes their own sort of reference implementation of this, but then there are DGX Sparks available from NVIDIA's other partners that have very, very similar specs, but different packaging.